Hi, I'm Matthew Clausen with MedigapSeminars.org. If you're a Florida resident and are either new to Medicare or simply paying too much for your Medicare supplement coverage, the information in this video can save you thousands of dollars in insurance premiums. Now for seniors on Medicare, nothing can compete with the insurance coverage of keeping your original Medicare and adding a complete Medicare supplement. The Medicare supplement covers all of the co-pays and the deductibles that Medicare leaves as your responsibility. You have the freedom to choose from any doctor or any medical facility in the country that accepts Medicare, and you never have to worry about an insurance company deeming your treatment as medically unnecessary just to save a buck. However, in Florida, the most complete Medicare supplement can often cost over $2,000 a year. When you consider that the average Floridian on Medicare has only about $800 a year in annual medical expenses, with 80% of that covered by original Medicare. That means that you could be paying over $2,000 a year for an average benefit of just $160. That's only enriching the insurance company and the agent that sold you the high premium policy. For you, it's like throwing money away and it doesn't have to be this way. There is a Medicare supplement plan designed specifically for this kind of market, but few insurance agents or brokers will show it to you because the commissions earned are one-half to one-fifth that of other Medicare products. Now, that supplement is called the Medicare Supplement Plan FHD, or the Plan F High Deductible. Now, to better understand the value of the Plan FHD, let's take a look at the other supplements most often considered by seniors in Florida. This table illustrates the benefits of each of the 11 different Medicare supplements that are available to you. Each supplement is referred to by a letter. For example, Supplement Plan A, Plan B, Plan C, etc. Now, it's important to understand that unlike Medicare Advantage plans, these Medicare supplements are standardized by Medicare. That means the benefits offered each Plan F or each Plan G or Plan N, etc. are exactly identical no matter which company offers you the product. That means that if you're looking at Plan F, for example, the only difference between Plan F offered by, say, Aetna or Blue Cross or United Healthcare or any other company is the price. The benefits offered are exactly the same from one company to another. In this table, the names of the plans are across the top, with the asterisk here referring to the Plan F high deductible. The categories of benefits covered are along the left-hand column, and the amount of the benefit is listed as a percent. Plan F, for example, pays 100% of the co-pays and deductibles not covered by original Medicare and 80% of foreign travel emergency care. That means that with a regular Plan F, you'll have no out-of-pocket expenses for any medical event in the U.S. except for your insurance premium. This means that Medicare pays its part, then sends the remainder of the bill to your Medicare Supplement Insurance Company to pay the rest. Medicare Supplement Plan F High Deductible is exactly the same as a regular Plan F, except that you pay out of pocket the first $2,180 that would have been paid by your regular Plan F. Now this is not the same as the first $2,180 of medical expenses, because Medicare still pays its part. Medicare Part B, for example, still pays 80% of your outpatient services, but of the remainder, you'll pay up to a maximum of $2,180 in any one year, after which Medicare and its supplement will cover 100% of your expenses. Now, this compares very favorably, uh, for example, to a Medicare Advantage plan where you'll have uh, a $6,700 to $10,000 a year maximum out-of-pocket expense more if you go out of network and you're in, with an HMO. And certainly, unlike a Medicare Advantage plan, as long as you've got a Medicare supplement and original Medicare, you're free to see any doctor that you choose, as long as, of course, they accept Medicare. So let's take a look at how this compares favorably to the other plans by using some actual examples. And what we're going to do is look at some examples uh, considering a person just turning 65 and new to Medicare. For our first example, let's take a look at a, a Boynton Beach zip code 33435. Now, in this example, a male who's just turned 65 
is going to pay $259 a month for a regular Plan F. That's $3,108 a year. In contrast, the Plan F high deductible just costs $75 a month or $900 a year. Now the difference in cost is $2,208 a year. The difference in benefits is the possible $2,180 a year. That's the maximum out-of-pocket expense allowed with the Plan F high deductible. Now this means that the consumer is paying $2,208 per year to protect themselves against a possible $2,180 expense. This is amazing. In this example, so real life, really happening, in this example, the 65-year-old will be paying more in insurance premiums each and every year for a Plan F than he would with a Plan F high deductible and paying the maximum out-of-pocket annual expense each and every year. He could have a million dollars in medical bills and still pay less out-of-pocket with the Plan F high deductible than he would with a Plan F. Let's take a look at a second example. In this case, we'll go to Sarasota with zip code 34242. And here we have a 65-year-old male. He would be required to pay $181.75 a month. That's $2,181 a year. This is the same Plan F that we just showed cost $259 a month in Boynton Beach, but the prices change by zip code. So in this case, in Sarasota, it's $181.75 a month. For regular Plan F, it's $63.95 a month. For Plan F high deductible, that's $767 a year. So the difference in cost is $1,414 a year. The person who chose a Plan F high deductible would pay $1,414 a year less in premiums than with a Plan F. The difference in benefits is a possible $2,180 a year. So that means the consumer is paying $1,414 a year to protect themselves against a possible expense of $2,180. That's like paying $14,140 a year to insure a car that's only worth $21,800. So in this example, the 65-year-old would have been better off keeping that $1,414 a year in, in premiums and spending it only in those years where there's a serious condition, uh, a costly health event that would have required him to pay his maximum out-of-pocket expense. Now, to be clear, because Medicare Part B still pays 80% of your outpatient services, in most cases, you would still have to accumulate something over $10,000 in medical expenses to actually pay that $2,180 maximum out-of-pocket that you have with a Plan FHD. That can happen, that may happen on occasion, but the reality is the seniors that choose the Plan FHD save thousands of dollars in their medical expenses and have significantly more comfortable lower premiums to boot. No matter where you are in Florida, if you're 65 or about to turn 65, one of the two examples we just showed is going to be a good representation of your price comparisons between Plan F and Plan FHD. Now, in between the high expense of the Plan F and the high deductible for the Plan FHD is Plan N. Now, Plan N offers more benefits than the Plan FHD, but is a significantly lower cost than a Plan F it should be at least considered as you're taking a look at your Medicare supplement plans. If you'd like more information on a Plan N, check out our other videos or articles on our website, medigapseminars.org. Or for more information on a Plan FHD and a personalized, free, no obligation quote, click the link on this video. Thank you for watching.